Welcome to Table for Two Show. I'm Jane and this is our Easter episode. I'm so excited because I love Easter. As you can see, I've got my little Easter head bonnet on and I've also got my cool sunglasses that I'm going to keep on the whole entire show, unlike last episode. Notice I'm alone because someone didn't want to wear his bunny ears. So I'm going to do the show alone today and show you a new game. But I thought I should still have something in the room or somebody in the room because it is a two-player situation. So I have here Mr. Bunny to celebrate Easter and also show the game today. So Mr. Bunny and I are going to do it. Hold on, hold on. Jeez. Oh, I'm coming. Let me put these stupid bunny ears on first. Great. There goes the show. <laughs> but I get my way. <laughs> mm. Ah. Are you happy? Anytime I get my way, I'm extremely happy. My ears aren't even straight. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Table for two. Table for two. Having fun. Playing games. Just me and you. But it's important that we're dressed as bunnies today. Not just because it's Easter time. Okay. But because the name of today's game is called... Pretty good quote for Easter, by the way. Cross hairs, like rabbits. Yeah. Cross hairs. Get it? We're bunnies. They're cross. They're pissed off. Pissed off rabbits. <laughs> yeah, they're cross. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, this is a great game we're going to show you today. It's, it's by 1A Games. Mm -hmm. Hello, 1A Games. I'll put our information about that on the website. Um, so yeah, uh, two to four players, by the way. So you could play with four, four people, but as you know, we only mm -hmm. uh, review it on two. So Cross Hairs by 1A Games. And these are not just cute little bunny rabbits. No, they're not. They are bunnies with guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I almost broke oh, my ears. Oh, it's mine. Oh no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't get you. Ah, oh. there you go. <laughs> oh, by the way, we don't promote violence. <laughs> Yeah. Our cats love these, by the way. <laughs> like, well, maybe not today. All right, maybe I ran not. out of bullets. Oh. That's because the cats are playing with all of them. <laughs> Cross hairs. I, I think that's, those are cool. You don't think those are cool? I do think they're cool. All right, anyway, so they're not exactly the nicest little bunnies. So let's take a look at the game and explain a little bit about the premise. Uh, let's take a look at the board here. This is mm -hmm. the um, basically a fictional land where the bunnies all reside. But the land is not very happy right now. There's chaos, fires, bad things happening. It's just not good. Um, and the cross hairs are trying to uh, defend themselves and, and make it a better world. Uh, they've realized, however, that the bad or the, the nasty stuff that's coming out into their lovely little land is coming from this crazy ass factory. Mm -hmm. So something bad's going down. There's something nuclear going something on. Something nuclear. There. We don't know yeah. what's happening. We have to we have to take care of business. Mm -hmm. So each player is on a path, as you can see, there's a path on the board, to get to the factory and basically attack it and hopefully knock it out. <laughs> so yep. that way the land is happy again and everybody's a good thing. So it's, mm -hmm. it's not, the, the, the premise of what you need to do is pretty, well, well easy to understand. It's like, boom. Yeah, gotta, it's just a trail game. Mess the factory to up and, the factory. And, and win. Mm -hmm. yep. um, now along the way, we're going to find all sorts of things that happen. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, we were playing the very first time. It took us a little bit of time. Not, it's a very easy to learn game, don't get me wrong. But when you hit certain spots on the board, there's something you have to do. So until you get used to the symbols on the spots, you know, we were actually looking at the book for a little bit first just to make sure we understood each of the symbols and what you do. But then there's also this really neat little uh, zone key on the board. <laughs> right there, which I realized yeah. after we started to play. And we're like, like oh, well, that makes things it's easy. right there on the board. So that, that actually does make it much easier mm -hmm. uh, to know it's right there. Yep. Um, now, each player gets a character, or I guess a rabbit. Um, my character's name is Carly. She is the Piper. And Carly was performing for her village when she was knocked unconscious by a massive explosion. After waking, she found that everyone was dead. This is just a sad situation. <laughs> but now she finds that her music has a way to move the villagers. The show must go on. So my character, and every character gets a card, and you'll see, and Phil will explain his in just a minute. Mm -hmm. And on the card, you have obviously your character's name, but then there's certain things you can do on that card. You can collect items, and you can collect specialties. Items are represented by this little like a uh, sack, and specialties look like a, almost like a gun, uh, what do you call that? 
Target? Uh, yeah. Or look yep, like crosshairs. And crosshairs? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Hello. Crosshairs. Um, yeah, it's Jean. Uh, and then specialties that you can do. And when you collect items and specialties as you're moving along the board, you activate these different things. So for example, um, at any given time, you can have four cards in your hand. But if I have a certain um, specialty or a certain specialty, an item like a backpack, I can hold two more cards. So it just helps you have more you know, fun functions or features that you can do during the game. Yeah. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Who's your character? I am Co Jackson. Yeah, Co Jackson. Co Jackson. Co Jackson. Co Brains good. over brawn. Actually, I like an equal amount of both. Uh, his background, he's a scientist. This doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> he's even got glasses. Not as cool as my uh, glasses. <laughs> all right, I'll give you that. Uh, background, the only thing that exceeds Co Jackson's intelligence is his hunger for adventure. He's on the verge of one of the greatest finds in science history here in the testing grounds. Right. And he, of course, has items and specialties he can yep. do as well. So as we play along, we'll talk about them as we get them mm -hmm. so we can understand a little more about what we, what we can do. Yes. Now, the game actually comes with tokens. Uh, they come with a normal, uh, for a better word, a cardboard token, which is yeah. very they nice. They call that the illustrated token. Yeah. So. But then what's really nice is it also comes with the little character tokens. And we chose to use these during the mm -hmm. game. So you can use either or. It doesn't matter. Yep. Personally, I think these are better. So I'm going to use those. You over there. And then let's take a look what else is on the board. So this is the supply of um, specialties and items as you get them. It's just basically a place to put them so you can take them as you need to. Mm -hmm. Then we have what's called stronghold cards. These are the cards you actually collect and hold in your hand. And they give you special things you can do, actions you can take. And again, as we play through, you'll see how that might work. Mm -hmm. There's also the event cards. And when you first start the game, obviously all these are shuffled and, and put in decks. But the event card, you start off by clicking, or clicking. They're clicking. I'm on a computer right Click. now. <laughs> <laughs> Turning over the first event card. Now, that doesn't happen until an event happens. So when you get to the point where it says, oh, an event has occurred, you go to this card and you do what it says. Mm -hmm. We also have testing ground cards, which are sometimes good. Usually not. Not so good. <laughs> so when you get one of those, you're like, uh-oh, what's going to happen? You know, you yeah. lose something or you go backwards. or it's just, it's, These are not always as fun of a card uh, yeah. to get. Um, and then you'll also see on the right-hand side, there's an end-of-game card. We'll turn that over at the end. Once you get to the factory, depending on what you roll, it tells you what you're going to get or, what, you know, it, it's a little more yeah. of a challenge. And last, well, not last but not least, but last, almost last but not least, there's these really, this is one of the components of the game the, I really the, like. This is the part that makes it a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I, it's, it's not so much yeah, fun, yes, but it, it throws yeah. you differently. Yeah. There's something called adventure cards. Okay, so if there's a point, and it's not a lot that it happens, but if there's a point during the game you get an adventure, and you'll see if we get one, we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the area of the board you're in, whether you're in Farcut or, or Bargola, you pick the adventure for that area, and you literally do the adventure on the card. In some cases, it's even like a little mini game. You put yeah. your little token on there. And it you, is. It's, 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 just, it's like a separate game onto the game, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I thought that was a really good uh, yes. piece of the puzzle here, which I really like. Um, last but not least, there is a last but not least, there's some dice, obviously. Okay, which I'll explain in a minute. And then some of the characters, not all of them, but if you look at my character card, it has a little bit on the right-hand corner, a little icon that says, place zombie token, undead attack card next to this card. Now, Philip doesn't have anything like yeah, this. Yeah, mine's blank there. So basically what this does is it's almost like a special power or special ability. It allows me to put this, there's basically three token cards that are available in the set based on the, you know, based on the character. In this case, it's the Zomni. So we're not going to use these two for this game. But this basically gives me an opportunity during the course of the game to also use this little zombie token or Zomni token mm -hmm. to place it on the board as another character moving along. Now, it doesn't do all the character um, actions, which you'll see, but it does allow you to do things like um, attack. Yeah. So I can attack Phil, and we'll talk about that. But it's just like an extra little character that can do damage, basically, uh, mm -hmm. if, I, if I activate it. And we'll see how that may go as well. The dice are very uh, interesting. I'm going to just, I'm bringing the book out just for this piece because I just want to talk about the dice properly. There is the movement die, this little green die here. It tells you how many spaces to move. Mm -hmm. Now here's where at the very beginning of the game, right? We kept screwing this up. Yeah. Why? Because there's a normal six-sided die as well in here called the challenge die. This is typically or is used for you know attacks and challenges to you know beat a score. Mm -hmm. um, but I kept. I kept grabbing this to roll for movement. Yeah, and you can't really use that die because this one has something special on it instead of right. the six. It's so I'd say be cautious of that. Uh, movement die is the green one, and mm -hmm. we might do that during the show, by the way. We probably screw yeah. uses it. Green again. for go, movement. 
trying that's to think. Idea. That's what I kept trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't roll the wrong die. That's a really good idea. But when you actually get the question mark on the die, um, it allows you to do something else, and that allows you to roll what's called the, oh, the research the die. research die. And when you roll the research die based on what symbol you get, different things might happen. Mm -hmm. So, and by the way, some of these symbols are the same symbols that are on the board. Yeah. But the one that's really interesting is if you get the A. Mm -hmm. If you get A, that's an adventure, and that's when you grab the adventure card. Yep. So the, the dice are, you, you know, you, they're unique. It's, it's not just roll a die and go forward. Depending on what you're doing, you're rolling, you know, depending. Uh-oh, somebody hit that. Oop, I'll get it. <laughs> I dropped the die. Oh. They're so exciting. The cat's holding oh. it. <laughs> you know, the cat get it. All right. Hey, hey. All right, so that's, that's basically the setup. It's, it's a really easy setup, and uh, we just, as we normally will do, we'll, we're going to play. Mm -hmm. Phil, Phil won the die toss, and we obviously took roll a die to see who goes first. So uh, we're going to play. I think so. that's the second time I get to go first. Maybe the third. It doesn't mean you're, <laughs> you're going to win, buddy. So it doesn't. That goes. So. All right, so Philip's going to go first, and all we do is we start rolling and we start moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, um, you are the uh, green and I am the brown, just to make sure everybody knows okay. who's green. Let's see. So I got a Oh, one. wow. That's an exciting movement you just made. It goes on the green. onto a blank space. You, uh, you, hey, oh, just, cheating. Just one. Just one. Just one. So he's got nothing. Yeah, that space zone. is blank and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. That was exciting. Um, oh, I got a five. This will be fun to move. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this one has a crosshair on it. Mm -hmm. It says acquire a specialty marker. Which, well, yeah. So that means <laughs> I get to get a specialty marker out of the, the pile here. Now, I can then choose which specialty I want to turn on, for a better word. So I'm actually going to put it on this rage specialty that says I get plus one to any attack roll or to my undead's defense if I actually use my undead. So this will give me plus one um, on my attack. Now, when you use an item on your card, whether it be an item or a specialty, the token is then removed. So it's not perpetual um, on the specialties. I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. The specialties are not perpetual. The items are perpetual. Yeah, you get to keep them. <laughs> you get to keep your items. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. So specialties are, you know, as you use them, you basically lose a token and you hope to get another one. Yeah, and you can't collect extra either. No. If you have one both of them item. or four of them, that's all you can have. All right, so let's keep playing along here. Three, one, two, not ah, cheating this time. Ah, question mark. I got mark. a question mark. That all means right. he gets to roll the uh, blue die. And he gets a crosshair. Crosshair. That means he All gets right. the uh, specialty token as well. Let's what are you going to choose? I'm going to put this on shelter. Weather has no effect on you. Oh, weather could be a card mm -hmm. that's a bad card against you. Yep. So that tells you he doesn't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and roll the die for two. Now, you got to follow the arrow. You can kind of see which way it's leading you. So one, two, blank space, no good for nothing. Right. Oh, well, you're going. My head's hot. Woo, my head. <laughs> it's like winter hat. I'm going to put my regular bunny ears on. <laughs> and let's see. I land on... Yeah, bunny ears. Encounter a testing ground card. It's got a little blood oh, on it. Oh, so that's a, that's a scary card. So mm -hmm. Philip grabs the first testing ground card. Let's see what yep. happens. Undead attack. <gasps> Not a good night to be out. Defense three. Win, acquire one item. Lose, go back four spaces or lose one item. Okay, so the attack has a defense of three. So Philip yeah. gets to roll the challenge die now. And you have to get... More than three. More than three, right. And he got, got five. five. So you so win. So win, acquire one item. So he gets an so, item. And I'm going to acquire a rope. Dead ends have no effect on you. Oh, very nice. All right. So you can see that the play, the play goes pretty quickly. Yeah. You know, it's not hard. Um, oh, question mark. That means I get to roll the blue die, the research die. <gasps> Adventure! Wow, that happened fast. You can actually go a whole game without getting that. It's possible. Yeah, it is possible. So now I'm in the, where am I? I'm in the, I can't see that far away. <laughs> uh, you are I in, in uh, Solia? Solia. Solia. Yes. Oh, I didn't do this one. We didn't do this one last time. No. Okay, so, wow. It says, as you find out, Solia has its own sports. However, trying to hit a target with a virgin, with a virgin, from over 10 stories high isn't much of a sport, but you just showed up in time to push one off yourself. Man, that target is hard to hit. First, you have to pick one. Two spaces, four spaces, or six spaces. I'm going to pick four spaces. Okay. Now, you are going to roll the challenge, challenge die twice. Before the second roll, you must say whether it will be higher or lower than the first roll. If you are correct, move up that amount of spaces you picked. But if you are wrong, go back that amount of spaces. 
If you roll the same number twice, go back that many spaces. So either way, you lose on that case. Okay, so yep. here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I said four spaces, right? So I, I just went right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll the challenge die, two. I'm going to predict the next roll is higher. Good start. And it is. Yeah. It is three. So I get to move up four spaces. One, two, three, four. And I've landed on a stronghold card space. Mm -hmm. Now, as long as it's still my turn, I get to take the card. You know, even though it's I'm moving a second time, I get to take a card. Yep. Now, you can only have four stronghold cards in your hand unless you have a specialty that says you can have more than four. Right. Uh, and this, I'm going to read really quick. Uh, not out loud, though. Um, okay. I don't have to use this right now. It's just an action I can take with the time I need to take it. It's your okay. turn. Hopefully, this is not too confusing. It's not hard. It's fun. I have a choice. Uh, one, two. I'm going for the research die. All right. And crosshairs. Crosshairs. So let's see. Torch plus one attack against the undead. If you ever bring that undead out, that could come in handy. I might. I might. Or it could be one of those kind of undead, too. All right. One. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I get an item. Yep. So my item, I'm going to choose backpack so I can hold up to two extra cards in my hand. Good. Well, we're doing really, we're really exciting on this game, aren't we? All right. Well, we did start out with Two. an adventure. Two. Oh, crosshairs, so I get a specialty. Now, my specialty, my second one, is the undead. By having this here, I can then, the next time I acquire a specialty, I can bring out my undead token. But right now, I, I can't do that just yet. Okay. But I can now activate it, which is kind of cool. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So I landed Ooh, on testing, testing ground. ground. Anytime you see blood on the thing, it's testing ground. Enemy attack. Ah. The rocks have eyes. Defense, three. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to defend against that. He's got a four. Oh, oh. one. So lose. I lose, lose an, an item. item. Oh, that's just too bad. Oh, I'll lose my rope. Yeah, as much as I do think these glasses are really cool. <laughs> I can't see too well. <laughs> but they're kind of cool. Uh, they're, and they're kind of rose colored, too. I'm going to use this for, I'm gonna use this for like, when I go to Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. We're going to be going to Vegas in April. We're going to tape a show. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. All right, so you're done? Yeah. All right, my turn. Three. One, two, three. Now oh, I got the tree icon. No. Oh. Okay, tree icon says activate the event card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whichever one's up is the one that's activated. Um, if you roll, I want to remind, remind myself of something. When you land on it, you activate the event card. But if you roll um, a tree on, a, on yeah. this die, then you turn over a new event card. That's mm -hmm. just something to know. Yep. All right, this says military push. All players go back two spaces for each card they have in their hand. Uh, unfortunately, I have one, so I gotta go back two spaces, one, two, which actually earns me a new card, which is kind of funny. Um, and then you have none, right? Yes. And you're not a soldier, are you? No. Okay, so sometimes you'll see, if your mm -hmm. title is soldier, you go forward one space for each card you have. I'm a scientist. So. Okay, so neither one of us does that. Okay. Um, okay, and then I, I got another card because I landed on the stronghold space and it was still my turn. Right. Your turn. I like this game. Four. One, two, three, four. I keep playing on you blanks. Like, you know, this is great. This game will go fast because you can play <laughs> on blanks. You know, the first time we played, we kept going backwards and stuff because of event cards and things. And we're like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, we're never going to get through the game. Oh, question mark. Means I rolled the blue. <gasps> Another adventure! Wow. I just, I'm and done. you're in Farcut land. Where am I? Where am I? Farcut. Fartland? Farcut. Oh, Farcut. <laughs> For any adventure to be great, events must have fold in the perfect sequence. This can be the difference between disaster and glory. But no one said it would be easy. Roll the challenge die. If you roll one, two, four, five, or six, you may continue. And then it says, now roll. Okay, okay, so I have to, all right, first I have to see if I continue. So mm -hmm. one, two, four, five, or six. Three. <laughs> wow. Well, that's the end of that challenge. <laughs> if I had the other ones, I would have continued and yeah. followed along. Well, that was an easy one. That's the way it goes. <laughs> easy. Uh, look. Blank. A blank space. <laughs> oh, look. A blank space. I'm going to see if I can go through this the whole the, game this on This is the part space. where Phil's going to speed up the video, I'm hoping. Two, three. Oh, Ooh. blank. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so Phil and I are now sharing a space. Mm -hmm. So we attack each other. Well, I rolled a four. <laughs> so your challenge, I, yes, you did want a challenge. I, okay. did, I definitely do. All right, well, I rolled a three, so I can right. back three spaces. All right. Okay. 
I said double check. We actually didn't do that the last game round, so I I, I didn't remember reading those rules. <laughs> so that's why we had to try it just now. Oh, but then I get to go, right? So. Yep. Now, by the way, I landed on a blank space again. Mm -hmm. if, I la if I had landed on a stronghold space, though, I would not have gotten a card. Because only if it's my turn, and yeah. that was his turn. So that's something we have to keep in mind in rules, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'll move one crosshair space. Now, I, can't, I only have two specialties, so I can't take another one. But what I can do is, because I got another specialty token, is I can now deploy my undead dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where now, it gets fun. I can deploy him to any empty space within six... Um, spaces of my, my guy. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and deploy him there. So basically what will happen is if Phil hits that space, we have to battle for it. and mm -hmm. It's basically another way to battle. Yep. And maybe push him back and make me win. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Look at that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> and I, th I don't think I have a choice. I think I, we have to battle. Because yeah, the, in this case we have to battle. So. so in this case, go ahead and, um, I guess it doesn't matter who rolls first, go ahead. Okay. Now I do have the torch. Okay, so go ahead and read it. Uh, torch plus one attack against the undead, and then these. this is a specialty, so it goes away. Right. So I've got only three. Right. Oh, good. Wait, so, but I get plus one, so it's two. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so I move back. Well, I don't move back. Do I move back? That's a good question. I guess I do move back, so four. Uh, you would, yeah. All right. Now, on my turn, by the way, um, if I do get another specialty token, I can also move my token up to six spaces, um, uh, forwards or backwards, if I choose. One. Oh, my God. All right, so stronghold card for me. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to use this one right away. This one is you acquire two cards, and all other players acquire one card. So I'm going to get two cards. And you actually get one card, so I'm being nice to you. I get a card. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I am on a blank space again. Two. Now, by the way, now that I have this dude on the board, I can also choose to move him instead of my character, just to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to play this move this one. And that gives me my tree, which activates an event. Same event. All players go back two spaces for how many cards they have. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. So I go back eight spaces. And what do you have? I have one card, so I go back two. I probably should have moved the other guy. All right. Well, lesson learned. Your yeah. turn. Right. That's correct. Two. I'm back on the blank. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. Four. Well, I'm going to take advantage of this. One, two, three, four. Probably should mention he doesn't. He can't defeat the factory. Just so you know. Yeah. So in other words, I, I mean, it's nice to move him around to get Phil to move backwards, but I need to move him up as well. And that's why you mentioned before he can't collect cards yeah. and things like that. Just a. And I hit a blank space. Just a You're zombie. Or <laughs> okay. whatever it's called. Zombie. zombie. And then why? One, two, three. Wow, I actually landed on Ooh, something other than blank. Ground. Oh, testing ground. Oh, no. Testing ground. Toxic air. This yeah. cannot be safe. Roll the challenge die. Um, and it's not weather, so I'm not protected against this. Uh, one, two, three, or four, I lose my next turn. Five or six, I lose next turn and two cards. Oh, boy. So right. either way, I'm losing a turn. You're losing something. Um, challenge die. You get a four. Four, so, so I lose, lose my next turn. turn. So I go twice. Right. Okay. Maybe get me move up a little bit. So I got two, one, two, and then I'll go again. And I'll do five. Okay. Ooh, question mark. Research. Hey, oh, I finally adventure. get an adventure. What, what land are you in there? I am in Sazu. <laughs> Sazu. Sazu. It's, it's this one here. Looks like. All right, one. there you go. Take your adventure. Okay, Sazu. You have come to a ravine where you learn that sometimes it's better not to know what's making that noise. First choose one of the following ways you would like to cross the valley. <clears throat> then you get three tries to roll the number of your choice. If you have a rope card, you may play it for one extra roll, which I do not. I'll, I'll try to roll a three. To right. fight your way through the ghastly group, gain two specialty markers. So I right. have to roll... A three! I got it on the first try. That was good! So it says I gain two specialty markers. Very nice. <coughs> two. Blank space. One. Blank space. space. <laughs> Four. One, two, three. Oh, look, blank space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better start moving this guy. One. Yep, stronghold card. Uh, stronghold, yeah. Almost, almost grabbed the wrong one. These are better. That's why I'm here, to make sure you're doing it right. <laughs> I'm going to play it. All right. Before, uh, play this card before any player rolls for movement. If they roll one, two, or three, 
They still move, but I may steal a card from you. All right. All right, one. So you can steal a card from me. Yeah, I'll take that one. It's fine. Mm -hmm. If I still get to go one, and I land on a crosshair space, um, which, well, I already have my undead guy out. Uh, I could move my undead token up to six spaces forward or backwards. I think I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Toast. Two. Ah, uh, testing ground. Uh, yep. Testing you get, ground. Oh, I haven't gotten one of those yet, thank God. Dead end. Ooh. Oh. Wait, I think I have something for this. Uh, did anyone bring some rope, go back three spaces, and lose next turn? Uh, I have protection. Play this card to avoid quicksand, dead ends, or mudslides. So, it is your turn. Mm, okay. Three. Blank space. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I should probably also mention, the, the light gray areas, those are called water zones, just so you know. Uh, sometimes they come into play on a card. Yeah. Five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, I could choose to battle you, or I don't have to choose to battle you. What do you choose to do? I choose to battle. <laughs> of course you do. I got plus one on my attack roll, so. Three. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, it looks like back you four. Uh, won that one. Move back four. Two, three, four. Okay, my turn. Kind of liking those ears. What are you trying to think? I don't know. Kind of like a, a bunny of some kind. It's Easter, not Valentine's <laughs> Day. All right, my turn. Five! One, two, three, four, five. Blank space. <laughs> go again. Oh, why do I go again? Oh, you lose your... Ah! I lost a turn. <laughs> oh, question mark. Mm -hmm. All right. Adventure! Wow. Uh, and Sazu, would you just did that? Still didn't in you? Sazu. Sazu. I think I'm going to go for roll of four. Mm -hmm. Take a leap of faith and jump over the large mass. Move up four spaces and gain a card if I roll a four. And I get up to three tries to roll the four. So, five, six, six. I get nothing. All right, you're Okay. <laughs> How much of that game? Three. Three. Oh. <laughs> oh. He gets the testing ground like every time. Oh. Enemy attack. Gorilla bunnies. Defense Gorilla three. Gorilla bunnies. <laughs> Defense <laughs> four if you're titled soldier. I'm a scientist, Gorilla so bunnies. that's not a problem. Defense three. All right. Win, advance two, lose. lose. Oh, lose two markers. That's not good. Um, I beat it. I you got did. a four. So what do you get? So you advance two spaces? I advance two. Two back where I was before. <laughs> Very nice. At my turn? Yep. Okay, I'm going to uh, play this. Roll for movement and add two spaces for each card you choose to discard, including this one, to your roll. Hmm. So, I have another one I wanted to discard as well. I'm going to get rid of this one. So, I'm going to get rid of two cards. Okay. So, then I roll for movement and add two spaces for each card I choose to discard. So, six. Okay. Wasn't that great, really? <laughs> I could have done better. Um, okay, so six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Right, oh, take, crosshairs. Taking the long route. So now I can do him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Oh, almost got gotcha. you. Really close. <laughs> we are coming up to you. Research die. Oh, a tree. Uh, I got the tree, and that's now, a new event. New event card because he rolled the yes. tree. He didn't land on the tree. So let's see. Bomb blast. The game extender. Okay. You roll the challenge die. This roll applies to all players. Oh, great. One to four, go back six. Five, go back eight. Six, go back twelve. Oh, God. Game extender, <laughs> get it? Yep. And, oh. So, Philip. <laughs> oh, table for two. Go back thing. twelve. Twelve. All right. Good job. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Uh, and that's the end of my and turn. And it's my turn. I'm not just extended the game. Mm -hmm. The worst part is, now that's the card that's up. Mm -hmm. If either of us land on the tree, we keep doing that. That's where this game could get longer than you anticipate. That is why it's anticipate. called the game extender. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Blank space. Blank. Two. Blank space. One. Oh, question mark. Oh, I get one. So this is a nice one. I get one um, uh, item. I haven't had an mm -hmm. item in a while. Yeah. Um, oh, I like this one. 
I can move one extra space. Actually, I must, not can't, I can't, I must add one space forward to all my movement rolls now. Mm -hmm. But that's good because it gets you along a little further. Yeah, especially when you have the uh, game extender over here. Adventure! I get it at Sazu Adventure. Same thing? <laughs> yep. All right. I'll try a different one. I'm going to try the five or six, which right. is push a friend down and run. That's not very nice, is yeah, it? Very nice You're so brave. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Where's the uh, challenge die? die? Five or six. Mm. Five. All right. I push you down and run. Um, oh, nice. I get to go again. Oh, is that it? Yep. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. Three, one, two. I'm going to battle you. Oh, great. <clears throat> See, I don't think I had anything to help. No. Nope. <coughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. Okay, that's me. Right. So you get to go back four spaces yes, now. Yes, I do. That's why sometimes you don't want to battle, because it's possible <laughs> you go back four spaces. Yes. All right. Oh, gosh. One. Stronghold card. Research die. And I get an item. Mm -hmm. Two. No, oh, no. I get the testing mm -hmm. round. You've been spotted. Go back three spaces plus one space for every card that you have. Six, seven, eight. This is where this game really could take a while. <laughs> we are stuck in between far cut and, and the bad Sazu. stuff. And the bad stuff. And I rolled happening. a one. That's really nice. Cross here. Okay. This card. I'm going to play a card. Okay. At the start of my turn, if I'm within three spaces of water, I can add three spaces to my movement roll. <laughs> That's a funny card. Bunny ears in the water. It is bunny ears. <laughs> Like the ones I have on. Sorry. Right. I'm easily amused by things like that. Okay, so I get to go six spaces now. One, two, three, four, five, six, which gives me a stronghold card. Four. Three plus one. Two, three, four. Stronghold, right? Two, three, which is a three. One, two, three. Blank mm -hmm. space. One, which is two. Uh, Cross uh, testing grounds. Ooh, radiation center. Something has gone terribly wrong oh, here. No. Roll the challenge die. One or two, lose one item marker. Three or four, lose any two markers. Five, go back four. Six, go back six. So I, guess I don't think I have protection against no? that. Protection, no. What's interesting about this game is oh, yes, you I think do. you're Play doing well, and then all of a sudden it's chaos happens because this factory is causing all the chaos. Yeah, well, fortunately, I do have protection for that. Radiation or toxic elements. Oh, all right, very so, good. So I'm good there. Good. And... Then I'm also going to play this. What's that? Play this card at the end of your turn to immediately take another turn. It's All just right, a go, for it. go again turn card. Five plus one. One, two, I'm going to go the short way. Three, four, five, which is blank. Okay. Six for me. One, two, three. You might have helped me here. Four, four five, five six. six. Thank you, Blake. Blank. Space. Hey, now we're on the lobby land. Lobby land. Lobby land. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh. All right, now at least you're getting closer to the top. Mm -hmm. Watch, I'll we'll, we'll hit one of these stupid events. <laughs> one, please move me up there because I can't see. Okay. Oh, and I just get one of these, which means I can move my guy six. Okay. One, uh -oh. two, three, four, five. Oh, so close. Six. Research die. Oh. Take an eye can. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still my turn, so yep. unfortunately I get a testing ground. Yes, you do. Did anyone bring any rope? Go back three spaces and lose my next turn. Move me back three. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I item. get an item. Only one I have left is the high tech rifle. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. At the start of your turn, if a kinda player. Kind of like your rifle. Kind of like the rifle, yeah. That's not a rifle, but. Uh, at the start of your turn, if a player is exactly five spaces away, you may send him back six. Okay, wow. here you go again. That's good. You're not five away. Lucky you. Two, three. One. Question Research. Oh, I get an item. Two, please. Okay. And the Testing. plus one. Oh, the plus one, yep. Yep. That's a one. Two. Six, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're on a blank. Yep. Two. One, two. Event. Dun, dun, dun. One. I could actually loop back around here according to the space. Two, three, four, five, but I'm not. <laughs> One, two, three, blank. Now it's your turn. All right, I'm going to play this nasty card. It's called Ground Zero, which I really don't like the name of it. But um, it's so bad. You move back four spaces. Move me back four spaces. Okay. 
It is my turn, so I get to get an item. Yes, you do. I'll put it on my picture here. Um, oh, and if I roll two for a movement from now on, I can always choose to re-roll. But anyway, hmm. but this also makes you move back eight. Right now? Yeah, but oh, it takes place in my turn. Okay. Oh, so that means I don't uh, do I don't, whatever. And by the way, as you read that, I don't get the item. If I land on the space, you don't get anything. Oh. Okay, so let's make sure I get yeah. that right. Let's see, four. Just seeing how far you are away from me because I still get that one. One, two, three, four. I'm on a blank. Uh, move me uh, two, please. Two. Blank. I'm going to play a curse on you. Um, Before you roll. I'll go ahead. Uh, player's curse. Play this curse on another player. If a five is rolled by that player for movement, you move instead. Then discard Juju Jr. This is Juju Jr. By so what happens to me? Uh, if you roll a five, I get to move. Um, but okay, then I discard the card. Uh, yeah. Okay. Any spaces landed on by the player. So I got a, I got a, I got a curse on me now, unfortunately. All right. And so then the spaces have no effect. Visit so. my, visit, whose turn is it now? Uh, it's still your turn. Oh, okay. That was before you rolled. <laughs> Ooh. That. Five. <laughs> it's a five. Okay. Six, actually. But you rolled a five. I have an extra one. Okay, but this says if uh, five is rolled. Oh, poop. All right, so you so get to move I get and to this move goes five. away. Yep. But I don't do what it says because it's not technically my turn. All right, now it's your turn. One. Five. Two, three, four. Two? What is this with the little numbers? Blank. Blank. Five. Two, three, four, five. Blank. Yep. Five. I win this game. One, two, three, four, plus one. One, two, three, four. I'm on my own, guys, so I can't use it. I mean, four. One, two, three, plus one. So five. Fortunately, I can't get a one because I have that map. Right. So. But, you but get I could a get a two. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Was, I felt that was going to happen. I felt it too. Weather. Oh, weather has no effect on you. Yeah. I'll get rid of that. Oh, man. I'm just, oops, I'm all right. All right. I don't, I don't need one. Mm -hmm. I'm not winning this game. Just making sure I point that out. And I didn't get research, so I'm All right, so now he's there. in the factory. The factory has a defense of three. Mm -hmm. If he loses, he goes back two spaces. If you defeat the factory, you win, yay. You go, go, go get a cookie, it says. Nice. <laughs> Which I think is kind of cool. Um, so the first player, however, who enters the factory zone rolls a challenge die and looks at the result on the outcome card. So that's what's important, is that outcome card right there. So okay. let's take a look at it. Okay. Um, on a roll of one or five, the player wins the game immediately. All other results depends on the player being victorious at one or more challenge die rolls. If the player succeeds, he wins. So go ahead and roll the die. Okay, he got a five. Got a so five. five says, too much power. Mm -hmm. There it was right in front of you. You shouted the power source. However, you weren't around to see that it worked because you were vaporized, along with everything and everyone in soft ground. <laughs> oh, no. But on the bright side, you are solely responsible for ending the horrors of the testing ground, and you win. Sort of. Sort of. So Bill won. Except that I was vaporized. <laughs> Bill won, unfortunately. <laughs> So if other than the five, he would have to roll against the defense, and, and so mm -hmm. Phil wins the game. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, this game, it, it does go pretty fast, as you can see, you know, mm -hmm. pretty quick to play. Very nicely made. Like we said, the pieces are really nice. We really enjoyed playing this game. Um, I think the only thing that could happen is if you don't know the right timing on this game. Yeah. It, it, it can go very fast, but if you get an enemy card or an event card or, a, you know, put you backwards and, you know, so yeah. that's... The box suggests 15 minutes per player, depending on how many players you have in the game, but, um, there, yeah, there could be a lot of range on that. Definitely could be a lot of range. So hopefully you enjoyed watching our show for Crosshairs today. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look at this game. I think you really enjoyed it. Uh, it's easy to buy, and I'll, I'll put the web, you know, links on where you can buy it. Yeah. Um, and then we're hoping to uh, see you guys like us on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. We have 3,000 likes on Facebook, and we have like 500 subscribers. So we're looking to see if we can increase that number to go a little bit closer together. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time on Table for Two Show, and we'll show you another great game for two players. Bye. Bye. Table for Two Show, created by...